Uh, Sharon Bobat, Voice of the Moderate. I'm in front of the U.S. Treasury and the fleet is in. Not talking about the U.S. Navy, I'm talking about all the black cars. That means that they're working on that BNP Paribas deal. That means that America is going to get some justice for France breaking the sanctions by allowing businesses to be, do business with Iran. When I say businesses, include Pilot Flying J, the Haslam family. I'm talking about Mitt Romney profiting from Iran and Khomeini. I'm talking about a lot of people that have not done some great things for our country. But when I see this fleet of black cars in front of the Treasury on a Sunday, I know that some justice is going to happen. And Eric Holder, I want you to tell those guys at the DOJ that banks are not too big to jail. Okay, you've proven that they're not too big to fine, but we got to put some people in jail. I'm all for the indictment 2014. I'm for putting Jimmy Haslam in jail. I'm in for putting Chris Christie in jail because of his connections to the Rockefeller Group with their Yakuza ties, and they've done some bond deals that are not bad. Oops. Was I not supposed to talk about that? I'm all for putting any politician that thinks that they're above the law in jail. And until that happens, crime is going to continue. And I've been living temporarily in Chicago. And let me tell you, there's not a lot of white collar crime because they put their corrupt governors in jail. I mean, I don't know what the last one's doing with his hair situation, and he was probably one of the dumbest corrupt governors I've ever seen, like Goyevich or whatever his name is, but he's in jail and white-collar crime has dropped. Tennessee is number one in corruption. I think somebody has their to-do list, and I hope a RICO case is happening in Tennessee. Anyways, the fleet is in front of the um, Treasury, all the black cars, that means they're working. I'm gonna go check out the FBI. James Comey, are your guys at work? I hope so. We'll talk to you later.